Hello everyone. Myself, uh, Purna Chandra, Mechanical Engineering Department, Global Academy of Technology. So today we shall learn a few problems regarding uh, projection of planes. So projection of planes. What is meant by planes? So plane is a, a thin surface, or also known as lamina. So you can understand the different positions of the lamina by watching this sketch. So here we have, if the object is placed in on HP, so we can watch this first sketch. The surface will be parallel to HP. When the object is placed on HP, the top view, you can watch the actual object. It will be rectangle, for example. The rectangular surface is visible in HP position. But in VP, so if you watch, if you watch from front, so it will look like a, a line in the front view. So which comes on VP. So VP, we have a straight line and top view, we have the rectangular face. So while naming top view, we name it as A, B, C, D. And while naming the front view, we name it as A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. The visible edges are kept outside and uh, the hidden edges are kept inside the bracket. So if you watch from here, C visible, D not visible, similarly B visible, A not visible, like that. So second one, second position, the object is uh, uh, inclined to HP. So when the object is inclined to HP, you can watch this. It is inclined to HP at some angle. So that inclination is visible in front view. So in front view, we can watch the inclined line. Previously it was horizontal. Now it is inclined. That is inclination to HP at some angle, right? So, but when you watch from the top view, so it will look like uh, again, uh, same rectangle, but, but the dimensions will be slightly reduced due to this inclination. So top view, it will look like a small rectangle compared to previous one. So second position is a friend will be inclined to HP at some angle, is inclination to HP. And the third one is inclination to VP. So when the lamina is in, inclined to VP, so here what happens? When you plan to VP, so this object will be turned like this with respect to VP and the final position will be looking like this, right? So this is how the object will be placed in HP or VP and it is inclined to HP and then finally VP, HP, HP, VP. So now we shall proceed with the problems. So first of all, we shall learn problem number one. So an equilateral triangular lamina, 25 mm sides, lies with one of its edges on HP, such that the surface of the lamina is inclined to HP at 60 degree. The edge on which it rests is inclined to VP at 60 degree, draw the projections. So how to solve this problem? So first, if you check out here, you he told that an equilateral triangular lamina 25 mm side lies with one of its sides on HP. So when you tell resting on HP, we need to draw the lamina below XY line. If you tell resting on VP, we should write above XY line, right? So now in this problem, I need to draw uh, a triangle resting on HP, one of its edges. So here left side is the resting edge, the resting side. So if the side comes left side, it is resting on sides or edges. If left side corner, if you write corner, it is resting on corner. So here resting side is left side part in the first position. So now I have drawn a triangle resting on HP, means below XY line, on one of its edges. So left side, we have the edge, this is corner. Okay, so first draw triangle like this. Name it ABC, top view, do dimensioning, then project up and finish the first position. So how to name this? So for naming you watch from downwards. So if you watch from downwards, here B visible, so we can write it as B dash. Here A bracket C, A visible, C not visible. Since it is front view, we need to write it as A dash bracket C dash. 
here b dash so first position is done since the first position is in hp the second inclination should be in hp only okay last position vp so we can remember like this hp hp and vp or vp vp and hp so here says first position is in hp so second inclination should be in hp itself so for second position he has told that the surface of the lamina is inclined to hp at 60 degree so what i need to do i need to rotate this line front view for 60 degree so that's what i told inclination to hp means it comes above x y line so draw a line for 60 degree measure this a dash b dash from here you cut it so here you should be very careful that a dash should lie on x y itself it should not move above x y line then project it down and project right side then you can mark a c and b so join respective uh, points over there now we got the second position so one more triangle with a lesser size compared to the first one so second position is done next third position we need to incline that to vp the edge on which it rest is inclined to vp at 60 degree so means this resting edge is which one this ac as i said so you can watch here it is lying on ac but b dash is above x y line so this ac is the resting edge i need to rotate this edge for 60 degree so draw a line for 60 degree so you can mark a on this degree line measure ac in second position ac cut it then measure ab cut arc from this a this side then measure cb from c you cut arc and join so the second triangle and the third triangle should be exactly same only thing is it is been inclined for 60 degree that's all next project up and try to join the respective points how to join that on x y line we have a dash a dash that is ac so join c till x y line project a till x y line then project this b and project this b and join b to line b then you can join a b c and name it as a dash b dash c dash so this is how the problem is done now you can check out a triangular lamina resting on hp one of its edges then we projected this and it is inclined to hp at 60 degree hp inclination will look come always above x y line so draw 60 degree line incline this this length this length should match this is done then project down you got this triangle then it is inclined to vp at 60 degree projected this side and then transfer this triangle over here and project up and join so this is how the first problem is done next problem number 2 so here we have an equilateral triangular lamina 20 mm side lies with one of its sides on hp So again, we have equilateral triangle, 25 mm sides, resting on one of its sides on HP. So left side side should come. So draw triangles, project up and join. This first position is similar to the last position, last problem. Next, the lamina makes 45 degree with HP. So I need to rotate this lamina for 45 degree. Draw line for 45 degree. So mark this a dash a dash on x y line. Then measure a dash b dash and cut it. then project down and join so second position is done and one of its median is inclined at 40 degree to hp so third position should be very careful here he has told one of its medians and the word medians comes there so we need to do bit angle method so how to do bit angle method here so first we need to draw median in first position so project this b Uh, from corner if you join a draw a line to the midpoint of the base that will be the median of the triangle or the lamina so name it as m1 and again if i project this i get b and m so we have two medians here so since he has told uh, it is in, median is inclined to vp so basically here we have two medians one and two so which you will select so again that depends here so we need to do select both and we need to do dimension for this so first one it what i need to do is told median is inclined at 40 degree to hp so first draw a line for 40 degree 
this one draw line for 40 degree here what we're doing so this b i am placing here exactly this bm should lay on this line okay so mark this b anywhere on that line then measure first you measure in first position the length of bm1 in first position measure bm1 from this b you cut that m1 length on this 40 degree line it is done then draw a line parallel to x y line yes. so draw 40 degree line mark b cut b m1 length it comes here then draw a locus line a line parallel to x y line horizontal line then measure b m in second position this b will be constant by placing at b cut arc on this horizontal line which you have drawn and that will be point m okay now b is done m is done i have joined bm project this bm and check out the angle it is 65 degree that is the beta angle what we have found okay now b and m is ready now bm for bm ca is perpendicular right so draw a line perpendicular to this bm this side so draw a line perpendicular then measure ma mc from m you cut both sides that length ma mc cut both then join okay so now we got beta angle as 65 and we rotated over the lamina for with bit of median inclination this is done then project up and join so we have a and c on x y line project c till x y line project a then project b and join okay so finally you can mention the bit angle as 65 so this is bit angle problem that can be done like this next problem number three So uh, triangular lamina, 25 mm sides, rest on one of its corners on VP. So till now we did resting on HP. Now we have this uh, resting on VP. So we have resting on VP means I should write above X Y line. Resting on VP such that the median passing through the corner. Again here median is asking to do through the corner on which it rests is inclined at 30 degree to HP and 45 degree to VP. Draw its projections. So here we need to observe uh, three things. Number one, uh, it is triangular lamina, okay, resting on one of its corners on VP. So I need to, I need to draw a triangle resting on one of its corner, means corner should come left side. and on VP as told, so I should write above XY line. When it is resting on VP, you need to draw that above XY line and resting on corner as told, so corner should come left side. Right now, what we shall draw this so draw triangle in this way, so left side corner should come and all sides of the triangle is equal to 25 mm since it is equilateral triangle. Okay, then you name it as well. Naming that above XY line all should be with dashes because that will be front view part. So name it as A dash, B dash, C dash, and draw median here. Name it as D1 dash and show dimensioning 25. Right? So before that, you are drawn XY line, VPHP that you are drawn. Right? So now the first position is done. Next, project it down to draw the top view. So to draw top view, watch from top. So if you watch from top, it will look like a line. So project it downwards. Name it. So top view will be A, B, C, D, right? So A dash will become A here. Is C visible? B not visible from top. So C, keep C outside and keep B in bracket, inside the bracket. Okay. The first position is done. Next, second position. 
uh, the median passing through the corner on which it rests is inclined at 30 degree to HP and 45 degree to VP. So here, if clearly told, the second position. So when the first position is in VP, the second inclination always should be with respect to VP only and last HP. Okay, VP, VP, HP. So last problem, what we did was HP, HP, VP. So this position is, this is VP, VP, HP. So second inclination is given, it is inclined at 45 degree to VP. So draw 45 degree downwards. So name this A on X, Y line itself. So measure A, B, this B will move downwards. A will, will lie on X, Y itself. So measure A, B from compass and then cut that A, B. Name it as B in bracket and C. So show the angle as 45. This length, length of this should match with length of this. Okay. So now, we have drawn this next project upwards to try to draw the front view. So project A and project A and join name it as A dash. So again B and C second line. B will come here B dash. C will be coming here C dash. And if you project this, we get D dash. This is D1 dash. So name this as D dash. Okay. So next I need to is given that the median of the lamina is inclined at 30 degree to HP. So what I need to do, similar to the last problem, here what you need to do is, so project the line, draw line for 30 degree, draw line for 30 degree, here this line, 30 degree, then you measure the median length in first position, A dash, D1 dash, measure A dash, D1 dash, Anywhere on this 30 degree line, keep mark A dash, then cut this D1 dash. With length of A dash, D1 dash, you cut A dash, D1 dash. That is done. Then draw locus from that point. Then measure A dash, D dash in second position. From A dash, you cut that arc on that line. Then you can join this A dash, D dash, second length. Then project that downwards and you can find the angle. That angle will be the beta angle. So here we're getting beta angle as 45 degree. Okay. So then since C dash B dash is perpendicular to A dash D dash, what I can do for this A dash D dash, draw perpendicular line using protractor. Okay. Then measure A dash C dash equal to A dash B dash. From A dash, you cut arc C dash and B dash. Then join. So third position is done. Next project down and find the last uh, top view position. So A is on X Y line, join this A till here. B and C here, project this B and C. Then join A, B, C. Okay, so this is how the problem is done. So this problem is resting on VP and second inclination should be with respect to VP itself. So here third position, HP is told uh, uh, the median inclined to HP. So first take this length, cut arc, draw locus, then measure this length, A dash, D dash, then cut arc on that locus line, then construct this angle over here and project down and join. This is how the problem will be solved. So the next problem, we have the triangular lamina uh, of side 25 mm is resting on HP with one of its corners touching it. So left side corner should come. Cut that the side opposite to the corner on which it rests is 40, 15 mm above HP and make an angle of 30 degree with VP. Draw the top and front views in this position. 
also determine the inclination of the lamina to the reference plane so how to do this so first of all we need to check out where the triangle lamina is resting is clearly told uh, triangle lamina 25 mm side resting on hp so i should write below x y line that is done next whether it the corner should come left side or right side that we need to check so is given that resting on hp with one of its corners touching it means left side corner should come so it's lying on one of its corners so left side corner should come so draw triangle draw a line for 25 mm measure 25 length and cut arc here and from here cut arc and join construct the triangle then project up and join so since a is here a dash is visible b visible c not visible so we have b dash bracket c dash first position is done next second position is told that here he has not given inclination to hp instead of giving inclination to hp he has given one more option for us to solve the problem that is uh, such that the surface opposite to the corner on which it rests is 15 mm above hp so the hp condition is given is it's telling the surface opposite to corner if you check out here this is the surface this is the corner the surface opposite to corner means this bc this b dash dash that should be 15 mm above hp so it's saying that this b dash dash is 15 mm above hp means x y line so what you need to do uh, draw a line for 15 mm measure 15 mm above from x y line and draw one line so you look at anywhere a dash measure a dash b dash from this a dash point you cut this a line which you have drawn for 15 mm above x y line since we don't know the angle here we need to find this angle theta so for 15 mm you draw one line so you measure a dash b dash keeping a dash on x y line you cut this b dash on this line then measure the angle inclination to hp lambda inclination to hp so we getting 44 degree this you need to find here right next project down and join we have a c and b so join to the respective points and draw the triangle so the second position we got the triangle which is smaller compared to the first position triangle right next the second position triangle should be moved to third position okay now third position what has been asked here is told that the side opposite corner on which it rest is 15 mm above hp and make an angle of 30 degree with pp means the same side b dash d dash is making 30 degree with vp means draw 30 degree line rotate this keep this bc on this line very simple you mark anywhere c measure cb in compass cut this c b draw line cb then measure ca from this c you cut arc then measure ba from this b you cut this arc again then join this you get one more the second uh, position triangle moved to third position then project up and join so we have a dash project this c dash and this b dash and you can join this okay so these are different methods in this uh, triangular lamina and the next problem is uh, set square problem uh, 30 degree 60 degree set square of 60 mm longest side is so kept such that the longest side is in hp making an angle of 30 degree with pp draw set square itself the set square itself is uh, inclined at 45 degree to hp so draw projections of the set square so here set square is similar to triangle you can check out here similar to triangle but here we have different angles so this angle is 30 degree and this is 60 degree so how to draw set square he has told set square resting on hp one of its sides longest sides 
So first draw longest side length is 60 mm. First draw line for 60 mm. Then we can keep the protractor and draw a line from here for 60 degree one line and draw one more line this side for 30 degree. So both line will meet at this point. So that will be point C. And this we can name it as B and A. Then show dimensioning 60 mm and 30 degree, 60 degree. So set square resting on HP, one of its longer edges, that is the next project up. So if you watch from down, it look like a line, right? So project up and draw line. C will come here, C dash, B and A will come here, draw this line. Next, it is inclined to HP at 45 degree as told. So draw line for 45 degree. So keeping B dash A dash on X, Y line, measure B dash C dash, cut arc and name it as C dash. Then project down and join to respective points. We have A here, A and B on first line, C on second line. Then join this. Okay. And last position is told the longest side is in HP and making an angle of 30 degree with VP. Last inclination is VP inclination. So draw a line for 30 degree. And then so measure this A B, cut A and B on this line. Name it as A B. Next measure this B C in second position. From B cut an arc, you get cut an arc. Then measure A C. From A you cut the same arc. So you get A B C the third position. And project up and join respective points. We have A, B on X, Y line. Project A and B till X, Y line, right A dash, B dash. Then project C dash and C, join it. Then join the last position. So now we can check out here, the set square resting on one of its longer edges. So if you take left side longer edge, finally you get answer that longer edge will be lying on X, Y line. Okay. So this is done, set square problem. Next we have uh, isosceles problem. The last problem in uh, triangle method. So here we have an isosceles triangle. Basically, you know what is meant by isosceles triangle. So two sides will be equal in isosceles triangle. So we have isosceles triangular plate of negligible thickness as base 25 mm long and altitude 35 mm is placed on HP such that in front view, it is seen as equilateral triangle. So front view equilateral triangle means second position, we need to get equilateral triangle of 25 mm sides. With the side that is parallel to VP is inclined at 45 degree to HP. Draw its top and front views. Also determine the inclination of the plate with the reference plane. So first of all, we shall draw the isosceles triangle. So here, even though he has told that placed on HP, we have written in VP position. Why? Because, so second position, you, you need to understand the second condition is the front view is seen as an equilateral triangle. So in order to get front view as a triangle, the first position, the triangle should come in VP itself. So because this is front view, this is top view. So if I draw a triangle in v HP, I get only inclination in front view. Since I want triangle in front view, I need to draw first position a triangle itself. That is isosceles triangle. So first draw isosceles triangle like this. Keeping C is told placed on HP means it is it should touch X Y line, right? So it is perpendicularly. It is standing on HP. That's what it means. So. So draw isosceles triangle such that it is touching, one of the point is touching X, Y line. So draw one line for 25 mm, then measure, then is given altitude 35 mm. This is 35 mm altitude. So mark midpoint of this, draw one line for 35 mm, then join these two corners, right? So isosceles triangle is drawn. First draw this line, mark midpoint, 
and draw line for 35 mm that is altitude length then join this line and this line right so you get isosceles triangle then you can do naming so you can name it as this as c dash p dash and c dash we have taken next if you watch from top view definitely it will look like a line so draw line it can be drawn on x y line or below also you can draw so naming watch from top a bracket c this is b okay first position is done then second position he has clearly told it is a front view in second position with a as a equilateral triangle of 25 mm sides so he directly i need to draw equilateral triangle project this a and c and draw one line approximately you can take any length here join this so you get a dash d dash c dash since he has solved equilateral triangle measure this 25 mm from the c dash you cut 25 mm and from a dash you cut 25 mm then join so you get equilateral triangle now project this down since ac is a resting side it will lie on xy line or here itself parallel to this line so ac will stop here itself but this b will move downwards project b downwards now measure this a b length from this a you cut this b okay cut that b so then draw this ab then measure it is inclination to vp measure the inclination to vp angle so here we should get 52 degree okay this is done second position is done and the last position is the side that is parallel to vp is inclined at 45 degree to hp so last position is inclination to hp okay vp vp hp so the resting side is parallel parallel to vp is 45 degree to hp here the side parallel to vp means this a dash c dash this is left side is vp so draw line for 45 degree keeping c dash on xy line measure c dash a dash cut c dash a dash then measure you know i know you know it is 25 25 from here measure 25 mm in compass and cut arc from here you cut arc 25 then join you got equilateral triangle rotated at angle of 45 degree to hp then project downwards to get the final position here we have a and c at this line so project a and c then b d then join a b c okay so this is how the isosceles problem triangle problem can be done so this video will explains all different methods in triangle resting on hp resting on vp and with bit angle method also understood thank you